Good day, everyone. Today we're here. We are sitting on the dolly at Heliseeker. Real world weather, time and conditions. Uh, hang on, I think it's the correct time. I'll just double check that it is. We'll just go to the menu here. No, it's not on real time. We'll turn it on real time. It's on real world weather. Okay, and um, what we're going to do is we'll take off from the base here and we'll head up to Mangamari Saddle for a drop off and then we'll shoot back across to the Mangaroa, drop off a, a gas bottle there and then through and do a pick up at Otapur and then back to base. Um, this is in the Cowan Sims 500E for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's turn the landing light off and those ones. Um, this is the Heliseeker base which my brother made, Lucid Kiwi, and um, it's just been, he just updated it today to fit in with the new released um, New Zealand update for Fl Microsoft Flight Simulator, so it, it doesn't um, have the deformations that, because they obviously changed some elevation heights in that, and he's also updated all the other ones, and they're all on the store, or the, not the store, the, um, the, the Flight Sim page where you can download the free sceneries from. So um, if you want an update, they're all ready to go. Right, there we go. Just unpause it. And uh, well, let's get moving. We've got a bit of wind here blowing from over that way. Been flying for a wee while, so I'm a little bit rusty. Let's just head out and get going. It's going to be a little bit interesting to get up there, but we might we may have to go up by some valleys because of the uh, cloud base and the showers floating around today. But so yeah, if you haven't played uh, for Microsoft Flight Center recently, they just put out a, a new update for um, all of New Zealand. And I think there was mesh improvements in places and other areas had um, significant changes in the detail on the ortho and stuff. Plus there's a lot of extra scenic locations, added custom models. There's, there's now um, photogametry um, major cities and stuff like that. And it's just incredible some of the detail in those areas. Um, I may try and like ch show some of those in like, future videos. Um, just don't getting as much time these days to make these videos. Here we go, a bit of, bit of a shower coming across the ridge here out to our right. It's quite a gusty, looks like a, well I think it was a northwesterly. Just upgraded my graphics card so I can now record um, my VR while I'm playing in the Reverb G2, which is a 4K VR headset. So it's a lot better visuals, and the frame rate is just. Um, May approach helicopter November 16062. Is type helicopter 583 miles southwest of November Zulu Hotel Sierra Hotel, 3,100 feet. Request flight following. Sure, what that who's on my radio? Squawk two one zero five helicopter zero six two. Share up to the lift here. Yeah. Oh, double rainbow. Roger, helicopter. Hope that'll show through in the recording. You can see it out the window there. Oh, Microsoft's turn to do stop recording. The voice activated stuff is um, recording stop. It's uh, starting to do some other recording, which is probably going to. Uh, yeah. It's just something to do. Uh, this is the new 
uh, reverb I'm using and um, obviously it has key phrases that will just start doing stuff so that was a bit random I have to make sure I can turn off the voice commands for that or something shower out to our right up ahead towards the cascade hut so we'll start turning up this way now looks like we can just go straight across the top here and into the Mingamara anyway so I've submitted my um, homemade cargo pod that I designed up in sort of a style of the DG500 cargo pod that they seek run. I've um, submitted my model for it and to uh, Cow and Sims to see if they can add it to the helicopter in a future update so it'll be um, a selectable item if they, if they decide to add it because I haven't figured out with um, the Microsoft stuff how to add uh, extra objects to the helicopters is a little bit trickier than X-Plane and hopefully someone will come out with a um, some sling loading sort of add-ons and ops so we can do a bit more with the helicopters in future with the Microsoft stuff it's a bit of a shower here we're going through it looks pretty bleak out to the right there just sort of get through this as quick as we can it looks like there's one rolling across this sort of the southern western side of the Mingamari saddle as well but we should be able to get here before that hits that one's gone through behind us although that stuff in there will be blowing across so we, we may have to go back out through the south end of the valley and out through the Mingamari saddle if we run out of um, visibility to come back this way And uh, just up ahead, there's a, you can see this sort of a clear ridge here. That's the, where the Pikiwatia hut is. It's another private block. We'll just cross over that, and then we'll start our descent into the saddle. Yeah, the hills are a lot more definition, I think, in the new update with the the specific New Zealand update that Microsoft put out which has been real good I was running a higher 10 meter mesh pack um, prior to the update which is still probably slightly more definition than these but um, the fact that this is just a, a stock standard now if you download it as a free update if you own Microsoft Flight Simulator it's, um, it's definitely worthwhile We're just going to go down through into this bit of a valley here and hook around to the left and then begin our approach in. That, hopefully before that shower hits. A big waterfall just down there straight in front of us and the thing I don't... In that dip there where the two sort of three valleys sort of meet right here. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll show up in this but probably is under there on the ortho somewhere. So this is another hut that my brother built and um, based on the real one which I've stayed at several times now and it is, he's updated it today to um, fit in better with the uh, new update. Um, I haven't actually been in here to test this yet to see if it, see what it even looks like so this is sort of a first hands on look at it. which way the wind's coming from here and I'll, hopefully my um, skills aren't too rusty as we come through the gap here and turn onto the hut. They're a little bit high but I'm just trying to, I think the wind sort of was behind us there so I'm just going to flare around here. Very 
it's quite a different experience in the sim at the moment with the 4K headset and um, absolutely fluid frames per second. It's um, quite different to my usual sort of not not quite as smooth as what it is now. Right, that'll do us there. Yeah, the elevations I think around here are a lot better now. Let's see, a bit more accurate. figure out how the throttle works in this, I still haven't got it sussed, it's not, um, it doesn't seem to want to play ball, so I'll just leave it at full revs. Right, done our drop off, we better get out of here before that shower hits, so we're going to, we'll take off down the valley, we'll just have to climb out to our left though into the wind. Just touch the skids there, it's just a little bit of a hairy moment. Doesn't look much better down this way. We might be able to sneak up over the top there if we can climb out of here quick enough. We'll aim for that saddle just to the left of um, uh, Mount Wongak here. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad behind us. I don't know how much better it is in front. Oh, we head for Mangaroa. Crossing over the Minga Mingi block at the moment. Roger helicopter zero six two. It's really closing in out to the left. Just between big showers today by the look of it. I've sort of given up on um, X-Plane for the time being and, and um, using it to record videos because even with um, the new graphics card and the G2 it's um, the frame rates are just pretty much unplayable nowadays so until they do some major improvements it's, um, it's not really an option for me anymore unfortunately so I'm just going to stick to Microsoft Flight Simulator because it's so much better looking and um, the fact that I can just get butter frame rates compared to what is sort of like um, a decade old sim visually it may have good physics but yeah when you can't get the frame rate it's just not worth playing when you're flying helicopters I don't know what they've done recently but the frame rates have really tanked Yeah, it's really closing in out to the west. Let's have a look at the outside view while we're cruising along here. Hotel Whiskey Bravo there, cruising down the valley towards a bit of a rain shower. Yeah, that bit of wind blowing around. Right, we're just going to have to keep an eye on where we're going here because that looks quite bad at the moment out to that. About 11 o'clock there, which is in the Paranoe Valley by the look of it. We're sort of aiming just to the south of that. Yeah, you can sort of see that uh, grassland in front. for the Mangarel, which is just over that second ridge in front. Not this immediate ridge, the second ridge from the two longer ones you can see in the distance there. Bit of a 
downdraft there with that um, front coming through and that wind's picking up. Feel it, really feel it as we come over that ridge. We may end up having to cut this video short if we get stuck on the ground somewhere, but um, we'll see how we get on. We're really pushing for time now, that weather for closing in beside us there. This is what I love about having the real world weather on and, and the visuals with the weather and uh, the Microsoft Flight Sim. Like, this is just crazy. You can actually see the, the water bubbles beating along the side of the, the uh, Perspex here. Yeah, it's really starting to close in quick. We need to get there, get on the ground quick. It's, um, it's going to get nasty real soon. There goes the, uh, uh, the Mohaka, just down there, the river flying through. We should get a bit of an updraft as we come across the side of this ridge in front of us. Yeah, that's just about white out behind us. We've got to get back to base up that way somewhere. We only have to drop one gas bottle off at Mangaroa, so we will probably be able to do a quick and hopefully make it around the corner to the Otapua where we may have to just call it call it there for the video if we can't uh, get out. Alright, should be coming up on the Mangaroa shortly. Just down the Red Valley here a little bit. It's not too bad in this valley. Following the Mohawk at the ear below us. Yeah, coming up on the Mangaroa right now. Past the hut and come back in, I think. We won't be able to land right at the hut on this one because it's a bit, a uh, bit of scrub there. Yeah, that wind's strong. land at the track here and we'll just open the door and pass the gas bottle out to the uh, one of the guys there. Right, make it quick. Yeah so the hutch is through that little track there. Right now we'll take off and get around to the Otapur and see if we can get back to base before this clags in on us. Right let's go. The Otapua is not too far from there, so we might better just do a stop. Hopefully, get these guys in and then get out of here and get back to base. New Zealand Centre Helicopter November 16062 is Type Helicopter 587 miles south of November Zulu Hotel, Sierra Hotel, 2400 feet. Request flight following. Helicopter November 16062 New Zealand Centre. Squawk 4376. Squawk 4376 helicopter 062. Helicopter 062 radar contact 6 miles south of November Zulu Hotel Sierra Hotel 2300 feet. QNH 29er. This is just such a nice helicopter to fly in the sun, like it's just so. Um, Roger helicopter 062. And just just very much a fun helicopter to fly, but now with the higher frames it's even better. Right. Since I can't wind the throttle down at the moment. No, it doesn't want to. Right, we'll load in these guys and their gear. And then we'll get out of here. Right, everyone's in. Let's go. Right, 
Let's start climbing out. This is looking a bit miserable ahead, but um, we might be able to just bridge hop over this ridge up the end of the valley there and see what it's like. Head into the rain now. Might just try and cross the ridge into the Paranoia Valley and then um, hopefully we can drop out under the shower as we get across. Well, at the moment we've still got enough fizz to see. We may have to turn around if it gets worse. That's what's fun about the sim, being able to just see what, what it's like in these sort of weather conditions. Probably may have to turn back here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to see much over this ridge, but you'll see. Slow it up here. Oh, I can see a bit there. Oh, a bit of a downdraft right on the top there. Oh, got out of it. Lost a bit of rotor RPM there. Do quite a big pitch pull to get out of that. Right, we should be in the Paranoi Valley now, so we should be able to mosey our way back up the valley here at a lowish level if we have to. Wouldn't really probably want to be flying in this in real life. Pretty bleak. Follow this track because if we have to land, we can always land on the track, I guess, or a paddock beside it. At least we've got paddocks underneath us here and not like straight over the uh, beach forest or Manuka scrub. This is uh, considerably worse since we took off. One, two, three, decimal, six, Nothing like a bit of a challenge, though. Just follow this main track out, I think. It looks to be really getting nasty ahead. Ground now we're going so low. Look at that rain on the windscreen though, it's pretty incredible. Hopefully the frames per second on the actual recording come out okay because I've noticed that before with trying to record the G2 headset. Um, it might be smooth for me and when I'm actually using it, but it can sometimes not reflect that in the recording so this is really the first time I've actually tried doing a proper video so I'm hoping I'll be able to post this one we'll see if you're hearing this we're going to obviously post it I'm feeling the base must be just up ahead of us somewhere um, it's that ridge coming down there. Just can't quite make it out. There it is. What a miserable day. There, that windsock. It's about horizontal.
side wind approach. Right, and uh, we'll shut it down there. And uh, yeah, that was a pretty interesting flight. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. If you want any other quests for different flights to do. Next time I'll try and show off some of the new areas of scenery. Um, today I just want to really just want to get back in the sim and a film of the area and um, test out the 500 again because it's been a little while since I've flown it. So um, yeah, good fun. We'll catch you on the next one.